The chuff, which is a type of crow, has a distinguished association with East Kent, featuring prominently on the Canterbury coat of arms. But it disappeared from the county more than 100 years ago. The last chuff was seen in Kent in the 19th century. Now there are just 400 breeding pairs across the UK. Their demise has been linked to the use of pesticides in farming. Now a Kent Wildlife Reserve has launched a scheme to reintroduce them to the county. Robin Gibson has our exclusive report. Gone from the wild, maybe, but not forgotten. In the city of Canterbury, for example, you can find chuffs on coats of arms everywhere, on a civic sword, on a historic charter, and on the Lord Mayor's chain. There are stories going back to the murdered Archbishop Thomas Becket. It was said that a dark black bird had flown into the martyrdom area and was pecking around in the rather bloody remains. The chuff has red legs. Right. Now, was that linked in lovely medieval legend with St. Thomas's blood? Gruesome tales notwithstanding, the birds, once as common as their cousins, rooks and crows, are now extinct in Kent. It's hoped these five hand reared birds at the Wildwood Trust Park near Hearn will be their new beginning. Well, they're members of the, the crow family, but they're very well adapted. What they're that long red beak, it wheedles out grubs and ants from complex grasslands, and that's why we lost them. We, we destroyed all of our nice grasslands, heathlands, but now we're starting to bring it back. All the wonderful work by partners in conservation are starting to do that and that's why we're starting to develop and look if we can release these birds back to the wild. It's a difficult and complicated project and it may be many years before chuffs are eventually released into the wild but when they are we'll be able to say that these birds have founded a new future for the chuff in Kent. I, I suppose Canterbury would be very delighted. We would, of course. Yes, we'd love to have chuffs around. So we do hope very much that they will establish themselves around here. It would be a great feather in Canterbury's cap, I think. There's a long way to go on this project, but it's possible that this wild living link with history is now about to make a comeback. Robin Gibson, BBC Southeast Today, Hearn.